real back and forth game, thrilling win for your team, whether it be the bottom of the order tying the game in the ninth or the top of the order giving you the lead, how impressed were you with the, the fight up and down the lineup? Yeah, the fight, um, the fight from this group right now um, while we're going through it, you know, we're, we're fighting for our lives right now. You know, we're, and the compete is so good. It was so good last night. You know, obviously, you know, t tonight got turned upside down pretty early and you're trying to piece it together. And a number of guys in the pen st stepped up, a couple guys struggled, um, but everyone just kept picking it, picking it up. And, you know, I was asked before the game about last night and, you know, our, do you ever get a chance to appreciate these games? You know, they're they're grueling when you're going through them, but, I mean, these two games, these first two games of the series, you know, are kind of classic for, for being regular season games. So I'm just – that room is playing for a lot, and, and you can feel it, and nothing's been easy, of course, um, and we know we got we to gotta keep, keep getting better and moving the needle and, and racking up wins, but um, – we're fighting for a lot, and it's it's fun to see these guys laying it on the line. You talked appreciation, Aaron Judge, six more times on base last night. How can how can you describe the level he's playing at right now? Yeah, it's it's remarkable. I, I came in, I actually said to Osmus, I said, I think I think Judge is on all six times, and um, uh, it's. It's it's really impressive, um, you know, what him and Juan are doing in in that back to back in the order. Um, just you know, you you get to witness greatness every day, and uh, six times on, that's not an easy thing to accomplish. What do you make of Holmes bouncing back and giving you six outs like that? Yeah, he was great. Um, you know, especially after having to go last night, and then to give us you know his first full two innings there. He was sharp. He was crisp. He was ahead. Um, and again, like, you know, he's been going through it too. But that's just a gutsy turn the page, compete my butt off kind of performance. And at the end, it's Grisham and Calabra who get it down in the ninth and tenth inning. Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought Grish just put such a quality at bat. You know, I think he fell behind 0 2 and just kept kind of grinding and spoiled a couple pitches I think got to 2-2 two -two and just able to able to force one the other way um, just a really really strong at bat and, and just that it just felt like he was very under control even after falling behind 0-2. Uh, uh, the uh, Chisholm trade was announced officially uh, how exciting is it to for you guys to have a, a player like that and how do you expect to use him? Yeah, we'll, we'll kind of work through that uh, and, and talk to everyone involved. Haven't done that yet um i spoke to him briefly just before i went out um so we'll we'll, we'll kind of work through that we're excited to get a talent like his um you know that you know we think you know his skill set will you know play at yankee stadium he's got power he's got tremendous speed he's got position versatility um you know he's obviously plays with a lot of energy and a lot of pizzazz and um and you know it's it's a it's a young athletic player that you know is you know has a couple of years of control in there too. So excited to get him, excited to see him fit in. I know he's really excited to get here. Is he going to be there tomorrow? Uh, we'll see. Okay. We'll see. Is this kind of what you've been waiting for from Kleber offensively? Yeah, you know, it, I feel like this week's been really strong, really good at bats, and and tonight I thought he had a good at bat his first time where he kind of lined out to right center. Um, and then, and then just you know had some struggling at bats in the middle there, and then has you know one of the at bats of the game with a big double there. So good to see. Um, certainly, we know he's capable of that. Do you see when you guys have been going through this tough time, the judge is almost trying to kind of will you guys to win, not on his own because other guys are trying to, but for him last night and tonight in these spots and yeah, what he's I mean, been doing. Yeah, I mean he's you know he's just. He's so so consistent in who he is, you know. Forget how great a player he is between the lines and how great a hitter he is. Um, but no matter what we're going through, we're flying high or we're struggling our butts off, like he's just he's the same focused, energetic team guy all the time. And that's all I've ever seen from him. What do you think Marcus? I thought stuff was fine. Uh, just wasn't getting it to the edges. You know, was in the center of the plate too much, and you know, um, 
and you know they they made him pay a little bit for that. But I thought stuff wise, just just that next level of command which he needs uh, wasn't quite there tonight. Pulling him early, but that just kind of the urgency of the spot there, trying to to cut it. Yeah, just you know, it just was a rough spot, and then have having to run through those lefties again where it was a tough night. I just felt like even though it was going to be challenging, I felt like we could kind of piece it together um, at that point. You know, obviously Fergie comes in and, and gets some big outs there and, you know, everyone for the most part kind of held the line and uh, let the offense kind of hang around. It didn't turn out to hurt you, but what did you see on the, the judge double where Soto got thrown out at the plate? Yeah, um, you know, I think, I think Juan got a really good read on it and just in the gap, just kind of put his head down, and you know, obviously Louis held him up. But I, I think he was so committed to scoring and thought he, because of how he read it, I thought, I think he thought he was in a really good. So he, he saw uh, Louis at the very end instead of picking him up. He needs to pick him up before he gets to third, obviously. Um, but that, yeah, that's what happened.